Hello and welcome to another Naval Alliance. Today we have the joys of watching Darkwing Glacier sailing in the T61 German ish. I'll get into that in a minute. Destroyer. And he's uh, go he's born up to the north side and he's going for A cap. So Darwin Glacier is one of the members of the Naval Alliance and he sent me this replay to review and I think it's a very good game for many a reasons. Pretty much of his discipline and also his awareness of his role as a DD in this scenario. So like always DD he's gone straight into A cap and he's starting to cap it for his side. And providing a lot of spotting power for the people behind him. A couple of cruisers that are following up with him. So he's just doing his job. And there's an Argyle. Tier 6 French destroyer. And he doesn't fire. He could have done. No doubt about it. He's showing a beautiful broadside. And he's blooming lucky that um, the Argyle's detection radius is slightly bigger than the T61's. Because he got spotted there but he didn't. But he didn't. He didn't need to. Because his job is to actually take the cap for his side. Not necessarily kill the other team off. So that's an, a nice awareness. And now he's thinking, right. What would be going through his mind would be like, what is that Argyle going to do? Because that's clearly the most dangerous ship to him in this current scenario. The enemy are too far away in shooting. But he hasn't been discovered. And his support is quite far away. So that Argar's got pretty much two options. One, come past... Well, three options, you mean. One, come past that island where he sent his torpedoes. Two, back back off. Three, come back round the island on the right. Now, I doubt if it's two, option two. Because... The enemy's ships are far closer than Darkwing's here. And sure enough, he went for option one. And those torpedoes are looking pretty damn tasty. Congratulations, Darkwing, for predicting that result. And for being incredibly lucky for him to just sail straight into them. Very well done. Now that is a massive impact to the game in this side of the map. Because they've lost their DD... The likelihood of another DD is very slim because the enemy have only got one. And looking at the minimap, it was last discovered down way down to the south. So he, up this end, has got significant spotting power for anybody that's just, any of his friendlies that decide to come up. So the T61, uh, she is German. She is definitely German. However, she was not built or to any German specifications and built to Dutch specifications um, to Dutch designers Dutch standards and was based on two other destroyers which were burnt at the time of the invasion um, by the Germans the Philip van Almondi and the Terik Terijek Hedes although I have just butchered them so I'm, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments description and in game she's a very potent tier 6 premium better in many respects to her counterparts and as Darkwing is demonstrating a very good torpedo boat with her eight I think it's eight kilometer range torpedoes making her very usable um, in terms of the stealth torping so I think with the uh, the consumables and stalled you can get a detection radius of about five to six and with torpedoes at eight gives you a good two kilometers leeway and now he is finding himself pretty alone up here but he can outspot the enemy so he can out predict them so he keeps it going so sure enough he's deciding to duck back into a coint and passing the wreck of his lone friendly that decided to come up after him. And by being the only one being spotted, he can pretty much keep the enemy at bay from this cap. And this is an old replay file. This is not 7.12. This is 7.11. So apologies for the 
horrendous quality of the replay on this some occasions. I do hope they have fixed that because it's so irritating that they do all this wonderful adding of ships and yet they can't... Well, as I was saying about being a torpedo boat, beautiful devastating strike. Bring up his second kill of the game. So, yep. Yeah. So him and Leander are bugging out of this area because they are still outnumbered. We've got Dallas there and um, Arizona. Another tier 6 premium there. And I must admit it, very good. He's bopping into the smoke of the Leander so he doesn't have to use up his smoke. Leander is um, spotting for him. The Omaha is nobody's fool and is squirming and twisting and turning like mad because he knows his ship is pretty much made of citadels. Ducked one set of torpedoes. Darkwing opens up. He's obviously ducked out or uh, missed the first set of torpedoes which um, Darkwing has sent. And now he's not been spotted. Pops his hydro. Nothing. So he probably has turned to the west. No, he's turned to the east. And Darkwing had the HP loaded. I must admit, I bet he wished he had some AP because that would have done some serious damage. And unlike the a tier 6 tech tree counterpart, she can't carry the 150, which would have made absolute dot dinner of that. Ooh, took a whopping great broadside from the Arizona. Probably a couple of sticking penetrations. Elander is gone. He's feeling very alone here because he is the only one up at this north flank. So his job has changed entirely. He's got to try and hold these lot off and hopefully allowing his team to take back B cap. And then it looks like they're, although the ship count is roughly equal, it's still well in the balance here. Come on, Darkwing. Maybe AP would have been better, I'm not entirely certain. If, certainly if you had 150 mil, which you can get on the tech tree version. The Gady, I think it's called. But anyway, unfortunately does not do the coup de grace there. And it's spotted by at least by somebody and has got at least four people shooting at me, including now the Omaha, who has waited until the smoke screen is between him and Darkwing, so effectively making him shoot from stealth. That guy certainly knows his onions. Certainly knows his onions. Well done. Well played. It's good to see. So Darkwing is forced to match the retreat here. But he's retreating to the left side here, which is actually very useful because the enemy are going to have to try and push down because that's where the are. That's where the rest of his team are, the rest of his um, flotilla. Um, so by coming this way, he hopefully will catch him into a... Oh, it ticks up a cheeky strike on the Arizona. Um, hopefully to get him in a crossfire. Also a little risky because it kind of exposes him if the enemy decide to isolate him instead of going for the rest of the team. So he's pushed around, spotting A point again. There's that uh, Omaha player and the Arizona and another cruiser there. Hmm. Tough. If it goes for the Arizona with the torpedoes. He's already had one hit. Um, but now he's going to have to try and take out the Omaha with probably the priority target being the low, lowest health here. Loads the AP up, waiting for the torpedoes, I believe, to make their mark before he shoots because they're going to indicate to the enemy exactly where he is. Because at the moment, he's, although they can roughly tell he's in spotting range, he could be to the south. But at that point, they know that he's here. The Omaha reacts and is turned to the east. Unfortunately, not, now not showing a broadside. It's opened up on Darkwing, but one of those salvos does enough damage and gets in. Bringing up his third kill. Fantastic. Bit of huggy huggy eye in the border hugging here. No, nothing wrong with that. It's just when players decide to do it a lot is really annoying. <laughs> so yes, the Dutch, or well, the German T61. She didn't have a, a real great career, unfortunately. Uh, she was launched in 1944, but never really completed. And in sept on the 12th of September 1944, was had to uh, was being towed back to Germany for complete refit. But unfortunately, got sunk by aerial torpedoes. 
not entirely sure by what from but most likely by the British um, Coastal Command unit who were doing a lot of operations in the area at the time so yeah not a sad history but in game she is particularly strong and in the recent sprint I've seen a lot of T61s a lot of them the combination of good guns good torpedoes fast firing torpedoes relatively has made them an absolute beast now he's um, zoomed in on the Arizona he's taken a good lot of pot shots at him because you can tell that the um, turrets are turning completely operate opposite direction giving free rain and shooting them down but the the enemy Nuremberg has decided not to support the Arizona and going forward and is putting all his attention <laughs> on Darkwing here and is laying some oh, relatively accurate fire and I must admit I bet he wish he was using he was using oh dear high explosive because that may have been enough but because of the delay which has Darkwing has done and now the enemy have split the last remaining three ships the overall game is certainly in his guy his control so can this Nuremberg though deal with him can you do the like final hurrah in kind shots I must admit that the odds are in Darkwing's favor at the moment the guy's firing blinds and smoke because he's being spotted by all the friendlies because of his being he's shooting he does have Hydra though which is very dangerous he's turned his fire against another enemy not surprising probably trying to help out the Arizona to the south come on he's captured it for the team taking out a gun turret and that would be the forward one. Oh, that's good news it means these shots are going to have no reply and now that Nuremberg's on his own and with his Arizona being taken out by torpedoes he pulls away just out of a detection radius of the hydro and just surely must be running from the, the Nuremberg come on torpedoes out we had success so far using the smoke between him and this cruiser come on those torpedoes are looking good Oh, massive hit from an friendly and coup de gras is done. And done he is with 93k damage. Number of torpedo hits and four kills to his name. Very well played from a fellow Naval Alliance member. And let's have a look at his a base XP. Oh, very tasty indeed. Uh, just over 2,000. But more than that, he understood his position in the game. Going for the caps, going for the win, while necessary, going for pure damage. Very well played. Check out his and others of the Naval Alliance below in the description. My name has been Mitch Slack. I've enjoyed making this. And I'll see you all on the next one. Goodbye.